from Tampa Bay streaming news leader. This is ABC Action News. Good morning, I'm Dia Riley. Today we're expecting a high of 91 degrees across the Tampa Bay area. Greg D's full forecast is on ABCActionNews.com and also on our free mobile app. Right now, here are your ABC Action News headlines. The CDC now predicts COVID-19 deaths and hospitalizations will increase over the next four weeks. That falls in line with a surge in transmission rates over the last month. According to Johns Hopkins University, there have been more than 618,000 coronavirus deaths so far in the U.S. The CDC predicts that total will reach between 630,000 and 662,000 by September. A CDC, CDC study shows that people who had COVID-19 and didn't get the vaccine are more than twice as likely to be reinfected compared to those who got the vaccine. The study looked at people in May and June of this year. There is a myth that if you had COVID-19, you don't need the vaccine. The CDC says that's not true and you should get the vaccine regardless. It's still unclear how long natural immunity will last. Having been previously infected is not going to give you the same level of protection as being fully vaccinated. We have all the COVID-19 vaccination locations listed county by county on our website. Just go to abcactionnews.com and click on the coronavirus tab. It's at the top of the home page. Tropical depression Fred is now predicted to reach South Florida by Friday. While the storm's impact here on the Bay Area is still uncertain, Hernando County is opening self-serve sandbag sites. There are three locations, Alinda Peterson Park, Anderson Snow Park, and Ridge Manor Community Center. They will be open from 8.30 in the morning until 6 p.m. daily until further notice. Don't forget to bring your own shovel. Remember, local news is streaming free 24 hours a day on our free streaming news channel. You'll find that on Roku, Amazon Fire, and Apple TV. Just search ABC Action News.